Nagasaki today, there are over 130 churches, in addition to many other Christian heritage sites. Western culture blends into the Japanese landscape. Here, a great human story unfolded, the story of a faith that refused to die. In 1550, the missionary Francis Xavier arrived in Hirado in modern-day Nagasaki Prefecture and began missionary work there. This is where the history of Christianity in Nagasaki begins. Owing in part to the support of Christian feudal lords who were eager to pursue trade with foreign countries, Nagasaki began flourishing as a Christian missionary center and soon became known as a Little Rome. In 1587, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, Japan's ruler, issues an edict expelling the missionaries from Japan. The situation for Christians in Japan suddenly changes, and the story of their suffering begins. In 1597, 26 Christians, including foreign missionaries, were crucified in Nagasaki. The 26 martyrs of Japan became famous throughout the world and in Europe, several churches were constructed in their honor. Following the establishment of the Tokugawa shogunate, the oppression of Christians was carried to brutal extremes. In Nagasaki and across Japan, fierce persecution raged. Among the many Christians who were martyred were Saint Thomas Nishi and 15 companions. Of these 16 saints, seven were non-Japanese including the first saint of the Philippines, Lorenzo Ruiz, and the French missionary, Guillaume Courtet. Christians in Nagasaki began passing on their faith in secret in places such as Hirado, Sotome, and the Goto Islands, overcoming persecution and poverty. For the next 250 years, they continued handing down their faith at severe risk to their lives. In 1854, Japan's long period of national isolation came to an end. In Nagasaki, where foreigners could once again reside legally, Ora Church was built. One month after the church's dedication, on the 17th of March 1865, a group of around 15 Japanese people approached the church. There, they said to the astonished priest, We have the same heart as you. In this way, they confessed their faith, which they had been passing on in secret for 250 years, despite a complete lack of any priests. Despite the hidden Christian's confession of faith, Japan's newly established Meiji government continued to uphold the strict ban on Christianity, and so a new wave of unspeakable persecution occurred. In 1873, the Meiji government finally lifted the ban on Christianity in Japan. The Christians, who had for so long been keeping their faith in secret, began to build churches, despite financial hardship. Behind Nagasaki's churches lies a long history of suffering. At the same time, there also lies a story about the spirit of those who refuse to give up their faith. The people who preserved the spirit over many generations continue to treasure Nagasaki's churches today. If you visit Nagasaki today, what you will witness is something passed on over hundreds of years, the light of hope. <laughs>